Hey, what's going on guys? Christian Hanna Horror here today, and today we're going to follow up our last review of Blade, mixing elements of horror and action together with another one of my all-time favorite films from 1989, Jean-Claude Van Damme stars in Cyborg. Now there is a reason that Scream Factory decided to put out Cyborg on their collection. That's because Cyborg is certainly an action film, but this movie is absolutely brutal. You know, a short synopsis about Cyborg. This is one of those movies where it's post-apocalyptic. The world is over. A plague has taken over the environment. Millions are dead. And there is a renegade group that wants to own and run this world. And their leader is a guy named Fender. Now, Fender is a very interesting character, which we'll talk more about in just a second. Now, Jean-Claude Van Damme plays a character named Gibson, whose family has seen the brutality and torture from this guy named Fender. He wants to extract revenge on Fender while we have a cyborg that has information to get to Atlanta where the last group of doctors are trying to come up with a actual vaccine and cure for this plague. But Fender doesn't want that to happen. He likes the misery. He likes this world of deceit and torture. So there's a lot going on in this film. Cyborg from the first frame will please I think just about any horror fan, when it opens up with a gentleman and a woman running for dear life in these vast, what looks like ruins, but what looks like it's supposed to be maybe Chicago or a New York street that is completely overrun. It looks like A-bombs went off everywhere. And in the opening shot, there are actual dead people crucified, hanging up on crosses in the middle of all this stuff. And it really makes you say, oh boy, this is, this is a canon picture. Now let me mention that again, canon. I think that canon is, is a company that everybody needs to try to see as much films from them as they can. Canon is this, was this magical company that you guys know about and they made movies that were shocking, <laughs> to say the least. The fact that they put money into stuff like this is awesome. Canon's, I, I don't wanna call the style of filmmaking Canon did a dead art form, but I will say it will never happen again. That Canon group made movies that are, in their own right, absolutely amazing. Films like Texas Chainsaw 2, films like Life Force, films like Cyborg. So when we get into the story of Cyborg, this character of Fender, who was the ruler and leader of this team, is able to elevate and de-elevate a film at the exact same time. Because when you look at this guy, he is so impressive looking. He is this dominant, strong, huge, scary looking guy. But then when he talks, everything he says is small sound bites. He doesn't actually have dialogue. He doesn't communicate in conversations more than a minute and a half. He has lines like, I like this world, and you'll fail. And he has small sound bites throughout the film. It reminds me of something like a Goro from Mortal Kombat. But his on-screen persona is something to see and to believe. And it really, while I do say it de-elevates the film with his overdub voice, what it sounds like anyway, and small sound bites, his visual look is perfect for this film. He looks amazing, this guy Fender. Now Jean-Claude Van Damme, as I said, is our main protagonist, and he wants to extract revenge on Fender. Yes, there is this cyborg with him that wants to get the cure and information to get this cure to these doctors in Atlanta, but Gibson's main thing is getting revenge on this guy who destroyed his family. Now horror fans, listen to me very good while I set up this scene for you. Fender took Jean-Claude Van Damme and his family wrapped them in barbed wire. He wrapped them in barbed wire. Now he left Gibson's little girl, Jean-Claude Van Damme's little girl, outside of this well. And he makes this little girl grab onto this barbed wire that is stretched out from being wrapped up against his family. He then tells this little girl, your family can live, it's up to you. Just hold on to this barbed wire. Now obviously the weight of two parents and another child is going to be way too much for this poor little girl who is being forced to hold this barbed wire. That barbed wire starts to slip and the family starts to go down into that well and this poor little girl's hands are bleeding. That is one of the most disturbing things I've seen in a film, much less a horror film, in a long time. Cyborg does not mess around. 
So when you wonder, okay, this looks like a straight up action film almost, there's a reason Scream Factory put this out. This movie is full of blood and guts and dead bodies being crucified on trees in the middle of what looks to be what old Chicago was. It is brutal and it is a canon film. So Cyborg, I wouldn't call it a masterpiece of modern cinema, but I love this film. As a horror fan, I adore this film. As an action fan, I love it, but as a horror fan, I adore it. So if you're a horror fan that is looking for some movies that blend genres, specifically action and horror, look no further than Cyborg. This movie will push the envelope in ways that you're probably not ready or expecting to see. Now, as far as the action goes, it's great. There are shots where Van Damme's boot has a little blade that pops out of the front of his foot and he slashes a guy in the neck with a roundhouse kick. Great stuff. So Cyborg, I highly recommend this film for anybody that is looking to see something out of the ordinary from your typical nightmares and Halloweens and Friday the 13th. It's a film that I absolutely love and I can't believe it took me this long to pick up this Scream Factory Blu-ray, which has been out for quite some time. It is, in my opinion, an amazing film from the Canon people. Now this Blu-ray, as well as great, it's a 2K scan of the camera's interpositive, which isn't the original, original film elements, but from what I understand, it's close to the original film elements. It looked great. It looked as good as it probably needs to look. It sounded great a great making of, and they got a lot of the cast and crew to be involved in the making of. Unfortunately, Mr. Van Damme wasn't in there. He's a busy guy, I get that. But they got the guy who played Fender in there, who's a really nice guy, but you wouldn't believe it by watching this film. He's a real menace. And a great documentary all about the wonderful world of canon back in the late 80s. So I highly recommend, and plus other great other special features. So good job from the people at Scream Factory for putting this Blu-ray together. I highly recommend this film for horror fans, 100%. If you're an action fan, definitely. Horror fans, you will be surprised at the brutality of Cyborg. This is Christian Hanna Horror. Please let me know if you've ever checked out Cyborg by one of my favorite actors, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And what are your thoughts on this amazing late 80s canon picture? I await your comments, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.